here with uh, Judith Polgar. Judith, you are you were the official commentator at the Chess Olympiad, and it just got over right now. How was your experience of it, and what were the highlights for you? Oh, <laughs> well, the Olympiad was amazing that it took place in India, and uh, since I arrived uh, to the airport, people were extremely. Uh, happy to meet me. There were tons of uh, fans, and uh, I had to sign a lot, making selfies nonstop. How many selfies would you have done? <laughs> More than uh, thousand, I believe. I don't know, but a lot. <laughs> so whenever I came out from my room and going on the street, it was kind of endless. Also, when I visited the short temple, I thought it's a little quiet, but then some people came to me also to ask some autograph. Uh, it was a very special vibe here in India. You could feel that the audience is extremely passionate, happy, appreciating the opportunity to organize the event itself. Of course, Anand is uh, giving a lot to it. I know him from my competitive years, but uh, it is really amazing to see him being a mentor and taking another role in Indian chess because he was living in Spain for so many years. And then uh, since he came back, you can feel really the the push uh, what he can give and I think it's uh, it's incredible to see such a nice role model that he's a very nice personality so it's a great example for the next generation in India and basically uh, you can see talents in India like in other places apple on the tree I mean <laughs> <laughs> and uh, well it seems like it it will be a great future for uh, for Indian chess and uh, many tournaments will have uh, Indian participants you yourself, uh, I think, broke out on the world scene thanks to an Olympiad. Did you feel that something like this happened here as well? Well, of course, history is kind of uh, was written in this Olympiad for several reasons. First of all, there was, uh, well, the sad part was that Russia and uh, China was not taking part. At the same time, there were quite a few teams who were extremely young. And we've seen an amazing run by Uzbekistan. Uh, we saw Gukesh, of course, Pragnananda, and uh, that was quite amazing to see unfold uh, how he won, uh, Gukesh won one game after another. And, uh, well, uh, there were other teams also, like Iranian teams, and uh, generally you can see the youngsters coming up in, in many different countries, not only in India. What would you say as the sort of the player of the tournament for you based on the games that you saw? Well, I think it will be Gukesh, even though he finished with a very upsetting uh, penultimate round in the Olympiad. But uh, probably he's the player who we will see in the top scene very near future. Within a year, I think he's going to be playing in the top tournaments. Prague was in the little bit behind in this event because Gukesh was playing simply so well. So there is something, a new chapter in chess starts. And Uzbeks winning the gold medal, that's huge. As a team, they are definitely the team of the, of the whole Olympiad because somehow they could stay extremely stable. They didn't lose a single match and somehow they worked together very well as a team. And their captain, Ivan Sokolov, gave uh, probably a lot of support and a lot of good advices. So, for their future, I think we're going to see them still quite a lot. And in the women's section, it was very well fought. I think uh, India was in the lead throughout, but in the end, last day, everything changed. Well, the problem is that it happens many times. You will find very little events where individual events as well as team events. When somebody is the favorite, they go from round one until the very end being number one it can go wrong in the last minute. And this scenario happened exactly with the Indian team, that they were in a good mood. I was staying in the same hotel with them, so I could follow them a little bit. Uh, Tanya was playing incredibly well at some part of the event, but it seems like the last two rounds, uh, it was uh, somehow more tiring, not enough energy, and luck was also not on their side. And Judith, uh, in India, did you go back with something special? I know you love Indian food, so <laughs> was there something you liked tremendously here? Uh, I think this time it's the memory which I take and it, I will treasure for a long time. And lastly, I want to ask you, how was it commentating with your co-commentator Mihail Marin? 
It was interesting. He was not so experienced as uh, I have more experience already, but it was uh, nice debates about positions and uh, we were challenged uh, by each other how we evaluate positions and what are our predictions and so on. So it was a nice experience. Well, thank you so much, Judith, for your time. And as always, it's a huge pleasure to have you at the venue where such events are happening. Thank you very much.